see our day one weigh in. First workout complete, 149 to go. Today's walk, friend. <laughs> Both workouts complete, day one. Let's go. So here's what I'm doing to make sure I don't lose track of how much water I'm drinking. I'm going to put a little piece of tape on the top of my water. Four of these is actually a little bit more than a gallon because these are 35 ounces each. But I'm on my fourth right now. I'm almost done. And this will be the last thing I need to accomplish today. It's 7.30. I've already read, done both workouts. I've been following my diet and we are doing great. It was honestly kind of on a whim that I decided to do this. I gave up alcohol not too long ago just because I wanted to feel better about myself and I felt like alcohol wasn't helping with any of my goals. And yesterday I hit the 38 day mark of being alcohol free. And I was like, oh, that's so funny that I looked and it was 38 days because when I did 75 hard the first time around, I made it 38 days. And then I thought, wouldn't it be so funny if I tried 75 hard again? And here I am the next day trying it. So we did our morning 45 minute outdoor walk as the outdoor workout. I did this evening a 45 minute like stair stepper workout here. I read my pages in the morning. I'm about to hit my water goal. I have been following my diet. I took my progress pic. So day one, we're almost done, but it's not the beginning that's the hard part. It's later on that's the hard part. And it's the days where I have to commute that are really difficult. Because when I work from home, I can accomplish anything. So I don't know yet if I'm going to share this or if I want to put it out there again with the world that I'm trying again. And I know my family is not going to want me to do this again. So I haven't like told anyone because I truly was in like a really, really dark place last time I did this. But here we are and here we go. So if you see this, it's because I got the courage to post it and we're gonna do it this time. My day one stats are insane. Morning walks with this view are just insane. I love this, I feel so peaceful right now. Second outdoor workout complete. So I'm rereading the Sober Diaries since I'm currently getting sober. So it is a just good read. I have read this particular book already. It's been a few years. So I just feel like there's more for me to take in. And I honestly like rereading books. So let's do our 10 pages. This is the most beautiful bowl of oatmeal. It's day two. We are on our stair stepper. It's after five o'clock on a Friday. <laughs> Typically... Friday nights would have been for drinking, lounging, being lazy, hanging out with friends. And instead, it's for working out. And then I'm so, so excited to just relax. <laughs> I'm very tired. And it's crazy because even just working at my desk today, I was like, oh, I'm so glad that I have a job where I get to just sit. I just sit and make calls. So I will say this challenge really puts into perspective things that I usually am not grateful for. So I waited way too long to go on my outdoor walk. It's 930 and it is like 85 degrees right now. <laughs> I'm very sweaty. I'm excited to go home and take a cold shower. We are done. Thank goodness I am sweating and hungry. I'm probably gonna lose my eyesight, but I have set this up this close to the TV to just watch a movie and do some cardio because I do not want to work out right now. Try to make it as cozy as possible. Second workout complete. All right, we're sweaty. My dog is not happy I kept walking without him. Hello. Everyone's eating breakfast. <laughs> Stuffed pepper masterpiece. It's Labor Day. It's only 61 degrees out right now. This is beautiful. Like this is the weather I actually love, but I know it's only gonna be this nice for like a few weeks and then it's probably gonna be freezing. And I'm trying to figure out timing wise when I wanna do my outdoor workouts because of my work. 
because when I go into work, I have to travel like three hours in a day. So I'm leaving the house at like 7 a.m. So do I do it before then? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But for now, this is just a gorgeous day. So happy day five. Outdoor workout done. It's day five and I think I've had oatmeal every single day. This is oatmeal made with skim milk and peanut butter powder for just extra protein. And then I do strawberries, blueberries, a full banana, a little bit of shredded almonds, a little bit of honey. And it is seriously chef's kiss. Like this is so good and so filling. Day five, indoor workout on the stepper. The thing I hate most about this challenge is that I feel like I need to take two showers a day. Not like full showers, just body showers. I hate sweating even a little bit. Like I'm clearly sweaty right now. And I think I'm just gonna try to wash my face and sit out since it's breezy. Cause I just hate that I'm always showering. Like the water bill is about to be crazy. <laughs> 9.17, I just finished my gallon of water. Cutting it a little too close today. Day six before going into work. Reading, stair stepper. We're gonna have a good day. I never thought I'd be someone who would go on walks during their lunch at work, but here I am. This is so pretty and I didn't even know this was here. I'm 22 minutes into my walk. I'm shocked by how many people I've seen. Like, good for them. This is great. I actually really like how this is breaking up my day, although I do not want to go back to work right now. <laughs> Good morning. It's day seven. I'm on my outdoor walk. I'm actually in my parents' neighborhood right now taking this morning walk today. I slept over their house yesterday because I don't want to give up on this challenge and I think I just need to get a lot of days into the beginning and then the momentum will keep up with me. So to make it as easy as possible, I'm working two days in office, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sleep over at my parents' house. It's gonna give me more time. It saved me an hour of driving, both on my way home from work yesterday and this morning, which gives me more time to sleep in, to do my morning walk. And I think it's a good idea. I'm gonna be uncomfortable for a little bit as I do this challenge. I'm gonna be inconvenienced, but I need to just be doing everything I can to make it as easy as possible to get these daily goals in. So day seven, let's go. I'm feeling great. Fun fact, I swam in this pond that's a few neighborhoods over from where I live. <laughs> Not recently, it was many, many years ago. And it was a dare, so. You shouldn't do that though. 45 minutes in, over 200 calories burned already. I really wanted a vanilla sweet cream cold brew. It's like 200 calories. So then I looked at the vanilla sweet cream nitro cold brew, 70 calories. I'm like, I did not just walk for 45 minutes, burn 200 calories to waste 70 on a drink. So just a nitro cold brew for five calories. Cheers to day seven. All right, day seven, second workout in at 10.09. One week in. Well, we are done with week one and I couldn't be happier with my first week of results. In the past seven days, I did seven outdoor walks. I did seven indoor workouts, six of which were on my stair stepper, which yes, I was influenced on TikTok to get. And I do really like it actually. Uh, so six of my seven were those. And then the final workout was an elliptical workout. It's not the most exciting. I do a lot of the same things for my workouts, but I just find it makes it easier. And I want to do what I want to do in a workout, not try to push myself to do all these different crazy things and then ultimately get burned out. I drank over seven gallons of water this week. I read 83 pages of my book. I took seven progress photos and I 
stayed under my calorie count every single day. Basically what I'm doing is looking at the calories that would put me at one pound a week of weight loss. I am a bigger woman that has some weight to lose. I am doing 90 minutes of working out a day. So right now it's like 2,400 calories. I'm staying well under that. And then of course, no cheat meals, no unhealthy foods, no alcohol, nothing like that. I am super excited. Obviously, since you guys are seeing this video, it means I've decided to document my journey and post more of these videos online. Thank you so, so much if you're watching this right now. I truly cannot express how much I appreciate you. I have been overwhelmed with the support from everyone on the internet. So thank you so much. I do really, really appreciate the kind words and the comments and I see them and they mean so much to me. So hopefully you guys like this video and if you wanna see my other weekly vlogs, the progress I make and most importantly, what happens after the challenge and where I go from here, then please consider hitting subscribe. It would mean so much to me. I'd love to get to 10,000 subscribers this year and I will see you guys next time. Bye.